Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So as you guys know by now, Roe v. Wade has been overturned by the United States Supreme Court and they basically said we are going to kick it back to the states and let them decide whether abortion should be legal or not. And so from that point, there's been a whole lot of protesting and outrage and everything in between, right? Well, one of the people who had something to say about it was that of actress Kimberly Elise, who has been on movies like Set It Off and For Colored Girls, just to name a few. And so she took to her Instagram and said this, millions of babies will be saved from death by abortion due to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Hallelujah, hashtag all glory be to God. Okay. Not too bad, right? And so with that, she also posted the following picture and it says, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Psalms 139, 13 through 14. Okay. And so not everybody was happy with that. In fact, a lot of people called for Kimberly to be canceled and how dare her celebrate Roe v. Wade being turned over. So I went to Twitter to see what the chit chat was about, right? And some people said things like this. I guess Kimberly at least is trying to be Stacey Dash 2.0, trying to rejuvenate her career by being a clown. It's like, really? She trying to rejuvenate her career by being a clown. Well, first of all, Kimberly Elise is a born again Christian. She was baptized last year on her 54th birthday. And so she is doing what yeah, Christians are asked to do. And that's to spread the gospel, right? And go out there and tell people the good news and the things that the Lord would have them to know, right? So why is she a clown? And I think people should also use some common sense. It would have been very easy for her to say, you know what? It's pretty hostile out there in the streets. So I'm going to keep my opinion to myself because this is probably not going to be good for me. But because I am a Christian, I am not supposed to be ashamed. I am supposed to be doing the works of the Lord. And so she also probably knows that if I'm a Christian, I believe in God. I believe that nobody can cancel me. So I'm going to go out there and speak not only my truth, but the Lord's truth. Okay, moving right along. Another person said, let me weigh in on this Kimberly Elise saga. I am a Christian. Unlike Kimberly Elise, I am pro-choice. With that being said, while I believe Miss Elise's statement celebrating the end of Roe v. Wade was incredibly insensitive. Why is it insensitive? Some people could say, well, it's insensitive for people to be mad that it's not overturned because we know that abortion is not something that's fun and nice, especially for the fetus. It's a horrible process. And so how was... Kimberly Elise's statement more insensitive than that of people being upset that babies will, you know, live more of them, of them will, because not all states are going to outlaw it, but more babies will survive due to that law being overturned. So how is she insensitive? Also, if you're a Christian and you're saying that you are pro-choice, that's a contradictory to the word of God because Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I set you apart. I have appointed you to be a prophet of nations. So it said, before I even knew you, I knew what you were going to do. And so with that, just that scripture alone, you should not be talking about you are pro-choice. You shouldn't be, right? Anyway, I ain't been to church in a minute, so I'm probably the wrong one to be trying to preach and give the word of God. But anyway, moving right along, the last person said this. Ah, but is she really a celebrity, quote unquote? When was the last time you heard people say that they were going to a Kimberly Elise movie premiere? It was like, well, when was the last time anybody said they was coming to your premiere? 
and who are you to be exact? Like we know who Kimberly Elise is, but who are you? I mean, Kimberly Elise is somebody to be trending all over the place, right? But again, I'm not mad at Kimberly Elise. I'm not mad at anybody who speaks their opinion. They should be able to do that. If you know, I know in this country we have constitutional laws and rights that really don't apply to us as black people, but as of now, People do have the freedom of speech, and so that's what she was doing, exercising her freedom of speech, and she needs to be canceled because she's a clown and she's trying to revive her career, and yet she should be canceled. These people, boy, I'm glad that, I don't know about y'all, I'm glad that I don't really listen to uh, what a whole lot of people say on the internet, especially if it's um, not conducive to what I need to be doing. Like, I can take construct constructive criticism, but hate and ignorance, nah, I just gloss right over that. And y'all should too. And so should Kimberly. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Hey, family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now, it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules. And at any time, they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.